All right, folks, here we go back again for another little off the cuff uh, tutorial. All right, so today we're going to do, surprisingly enough, a landscape. Um, now, I'm just getting used to this, just getting used to the way of doing it. So what's going to happen? And then I'm going to make a few mistakes along the way, but that's fine because it's all just a practice for me and for you. You can practice the, the painting and I can practice the, the tutorials. Okay, so I'm going to begin. I'm going to try and be more instructive as far as the palette is concerned. It's going to be part of it. Right, so bringing you to the palette now. Now, here we have Galcade Medium. I think it's the classic, that's uh, the ordinary original. Yeah, just the ordinary Galcade stuff. Right, and uh, we have that, the Galcade Medium. We have Lamp Black, Ultramarine Blue, Titanium White, Transparent Oxide Red, uh, Raw Umber, Cadmium Yellow, Cadmium Red, and Thalo Green. Now, my background that I'll be putting in today, so let's get, get back to the easel part of it here. And the background I'll be putting in today will be, will be done mostly in uh just mineral spirits that's all now bringing you back again to the pallet now here are some mineral spirits that i've just dipped into and brought it onto the pallet i want a nice dark color here so i want to go for the oxide red and some of the the phthalo green that should give me a nice uh, a nice foreground here Moving into the, I, I'm gonna say foreground. I mean, when I say foreground, I mean this area here, foreground of the, and I'm just putting it on. I'm not messing around with it. Not for now. Now, I'm gonna do I'll add a little bit of yellow to it. I want to green it up a little bit, a little bit of ultramarine blue. A little bit of yellow and a wee tiny bit of oxide red just to dull that out a bit. Now, in 10 minutes, this will have set up. And I'll be able to go over it. So, I'm just going to scrub out uh, a little bit of water just. That should do it. Just a, just a touch. No, I want a bit of a, a bit of a tree up here. See, a lot of this is done from my mind. What I do before I, I uh, I'm going to add a little bit of lamp black, trying to keep you involved. A little bit of lamp black. So what I do is I sit and look at a whole lot of images on Google, just imagery, and to see what can inspire me. And then I bet I'm a bit of an idea of what I might do by the time we get in here. Well, I do, but it's 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 all a lot of it's from my mind, which dispels a theory that I'm completely mindless. <laughs> now, go and bring the tree down. You see this here? Now, you see this? So here's a step uh, down. And then I bring it up into here and just removing a little bit of that just to make it look like there's a bit of a step down. Now you might not see that quite just yet, but you will later on. I'll make it apparent, make it obvious. So now what we'll have here is basically we got the foreground in and the tree in, just the beginnings of it. And now I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put the, the sky in. So what type of sky? I think I have a bit of a sunny, cloudy sky today. Sunny, sunny, cloudy. Right, okay, in order to achieve that, what do I need? Let me see. I'll go for a little bit of cadmium red, just to get some color into it. A little bit of cadmium orange too. Dipping it in the, the mineral spirits. And, uh, right, I'm going to go to the overall thing so you can see. There we go. Now, 
All right, let me see now. It's a bit, a bit saturated. So what is? So I'm going to knock it back a bit, a bit in a moment. Just knock it back a little bit. We might as well use the colors down here. They'll, they'll grab it for you. So, so a little bit of uh, mineral sparks, and, and this time I'm going to use a little bit of the the galcade stuff here. All right, so look at that now, getting a nice color in. All right, okay, that's not a bad start now. I'm going to bring it over here a little bit, although I won't extend it too far. Now, just lighten that up a little bit. Color it up a little bit. Oh, a bit too much, me thinks. Let's bring this back a bit now. There we go. It's a bit better. Create just a touch. Let's bring this up into here a little touch. All right. Okay. Now, let me see where we are. Okay, so the brushes that I'm using here, these are these are the cheapest brushes you can buy. They're no good. They're only for background painting, so they are. And uh, they last a fair bit of time. I, I want them to... I, I use them just to... Because they can create nice edges and stuff. And there's nothing special about them. It's just for back, backgrounds. So, right. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put in a bit of a cloud... Yeah, okay, let's see. I'm just trying to think on the feet here as I go along. <sighs> I'm graying it out. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing on the palette here. I'm just taking a little bit from the from the the foreground color here. And that'll help gray it out a bit. <laughs> I'm taking a little bit of that sky that I put in the sky here. And taking a little bit of that and I'm going to put it in. Now, I don't want this too dark. I want to have a, a kind of a bluish cloud, so I'll do. But grey as well. Grey blue, as it were. Right. A little bit of galcade in there. And I want to put a little bit of uh, mineral spurts in it. Now, you can't see my mineral spurts. There it is there. It's just a little, in fact, I'll keep it there from now on. It's just a tub of white spirits. That's all it is. I'm going to blue this up a little bit. It might be a bit dark, but let's see. Eh? Ah, no, I'm all okay with that. A little bit brighter, not much. i just uh, add some variation to it. There we go now. Let's bring this down. Nice big overpowering cloud for the day. Ah, that's not so bad. Oop, force of habit. There we go. Let's see. I'm trying to make these tutorials quick. So whenever you get home from work, you can go, you know what? I can do this. I can do this. Whenever I get home from work, I don't need to spend three hours setting things up and getting it done this way and getting it done that way. I just want to show you that it's possible get a nice quick painting done. Now, right now, uh, this part here, we'll bring this down a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, okay. Just bringing it down into here. That not color mix. That not as if it's fading up into it. That's not bad now. A little bit of blue and I'm, I'm trying to prevent it from going too green. Not often you see green clouds. Now, there we go. Yeah. A little bit more, just bringing it down, just to make it look as, as if it's way in the distance here. That things are happening and we are missing out. Maybe not. Right, okay. So far, okay. I'm gonna work in this area here. I'm gonna give myself a, a brush. Right. Okay, this brush here that I was just using, this is the Rosemary, number seven Rosemary, classic long flat. It's nice and soft to do a sky, ah, but I will be blending a wee bit later. And this is the same type of brush, it's just the size number five. Right, 
So I'm gonna come up in here. I want I want as if the sun is behind the clouds, just peeking through. So how could how do I achieve that? First of all, let's get a bit of blue into the sky. No, oh, okay. There we go. Not too much. I have to keep reminding myself that the that the Galp the Galk head is now over on this side. That's yeah, a bit. Yeah, it's not too bad. That's no, okay. I like to sing when I'm working, but if I sing on YouTube these days, you get you get blocked. Uh, outside now, uh, you get a strike on you. But anyway, a hmm, little bit more. It's a bit much. I want it. I want it fading up into it this time. If you can see that, it's a bit of a brighter blue. All right. Nice and gentle. Thanks. Hurrying, but at the same time, taking your time. If you can do that, you're doing all right. I listen to, normally I would listen to music and sing along with it whenever I'm working away. But not today, because I would get a, a strike, as I have said. Right now, I'm looking for brushes here. I'm just looking for an old cheap, uh, just a, maybe a farm brush. I'll do a soft farm, maybe. Okay. Let me see if I can find one. So many brushes. So many brushes. Right, okay. This is a, a small Rosemary & Co. Small Rosemary & Co. Fan Series 27. I'm going to have the, the sun coming up behind the cloud here. So this is going to be a, a bright, oh, oh, far too much yellow. Nah. Okay, just that touch. Yeah. We're here. All right, let's see. There we go. Ah, ah, look at that. You see that? What do you get for not being careful? Let me just get this wiped out. Just too much yellow here. That's something that you must keep in mind, folks. Any mistakes can be either wiped out or painted over. It's never, never the end. In fact, it's, it's good that way you learn quicker. I believe so, anyway. Make your mistakes, let them happen. Don't be afraid of them. It's not such a bad thing at all, so it's not. Okay. Now that I will get this. Let's um uh, let's get this blended in for now. Just get the edges off of the touch. So what to use? What to use? What to use? Now I'll just use this for now. Just come on up in here, just taking the edges off this for now, and I will come along and re-edge it later, oh, if I feel that it needs it. Now remember, I'm trying to be fast here, I'm trying to work fast. It's not always easy. It's not e easy when I'm trying to tell people what to do. It's, it's not so hard if I'm just left alone to my own devices. But whenever yeah, I'm here, just working away, it can be difficult. Okay, so what I'm going to do, just out of uh, experimental purposes here, I'm going to be laying these clouds with a with a white to try and make it look as if the sun is trying its hardest to get through. Okay, a little bit of gulkhead on there. The more medium you add to things, the the um, uh, what am I saying? Though, what am I saying, folks? Um, the more medium that you add to things, 
more your diluting the paint which means you won't get a stark white and because I'm doing this as a wet on wet uh, I am just so that you can follow along it means that my whites won't be as white as they as they could be okay now I want to bring some in here some of this in here just as a wee which I'm going to blend through just to give me that variation you're ruining it I hear you say you're ruining it but it's all going to be blended in you're not going to see it very much at all Just the, the colors, or no, sorry, the, the highlights that you would get in the odd cloud. That. I want to wisp this up into here. This is what Bob Ross used to do, isn't it? Just wisp it up. Good old Bob. Right, okay. This isn't bad for where we are at this stage and for the length of time we've been at it. I hope, you, hope you're following along. hope you want to follow along. Be nice if you can. This is recorded, so you just take your time. You're in no rush. You don't have to do it as fast as me if you don't want. You know, not set in stone. I'm just creating some some life in the clouds at this stage around here. So, you know. There we go. Just some life in that. Yeah, all right. Now, the bottom area of this, it's not dry, but it's dry enough to put another layer of something on, on top. So, when I'm going to work here, and I want this to be a nice, oh, a nice uh, muted green down here. Okay. Now the way to mute a stark green, let's just say a low green, that's a very, very stark green, is to add, well, I'm, I'm adding a little bit of raw umber here, but it's also to add a little bit of red. I'll kill it so it will. And kill the uh, little bit of cadmium red too. And now I want to add a little bit of the sky to it. <laughs> Because after all, this guy is shining down on the ground, so it should have some of it in it. No, maybe a bit much, but too, but too bright, maybe. Let me check this. Yeah, it's okay so far. It's a bit. No, I'm okay with it. Right. And a little bit of lamp black and a little bit of ultramarine blue just to, to darken it. You know, I never used to use lamp black up until recently. And then you find out that lamp black itself is made up from the colors that's already on your palette. So the idea that black isn't in nature is, well, it's basically not true. Black is in nature. <laughs> There are plenty of pitch black things somewhere. But the that, that black is made up from a lot of darker colors, a lot of warms and cools. Right. Now, I want this edge row at the back to be a bit cool. As well as being a bit green on it. Oh, no, look at that. It's not better now. See that? See whenever it starts to come together like that? You can feel it. It's quite nice. Uh, here, we're working on the base of the tree, and I'm going to bring the tree down a touch. Just down here. Just a little bit. Just that. That'll give me the, the sense that it's, it's forward a bit. There you see. A little bit of hedgerow that Reside beside the tree. 
I think I'm just twirling my brush. Yeah, just to get that variation. Oh, there we go. And you see, two planes. So I've got this wee plane here, down, and it starts here. And then you got this plane here that's up a little bit further away. Okay. So, I'm a bit annoyed that I can't find my bloody brush. Did I do with it? Yeah. Well, this will have to do. So this is a scraggly old brush, just beaten up. Nothing special about this, so there isn't. And this is where I'm going to start developing the tree a little bit. <laughs> okay, now. Now, whenever you're doing this off the top of your head, you won't have to because you'll have this as a reference. And sometimes your, your shapes can be a little bit... Not the best. But then that's when you have the chance of coming in and refining the whole thing. See? Now I'm going to bring this up in here because I want that light, this light here, I want it shining through. So I don't want to re really cover it up at all, so I don't. Now, okay, now, now this isn't so bad. I'm going to get this edge here, get it going. I want to, I want it to be a bit bright and warm because this edge here, I want it to be a bit bright and warm because of this light here. So, a little bit of that oxide red, a little bit of the yellow, just to, to warm the edges up. Okay, let's see now. See the, the, the shadows underneath here, you'll want them cool, but the edge is up around here. Nice and um, I think that's a bit bright though. Okay. Ah, now we're talking. It's a bit. Mm, is this still a bit bright for me? I'm gonna, cool it. I'm gonna darken it down a bit. Ah, no. Just rolling this brush just to create that random abstract nature that's in. The hedgerows and trees and landscapes. I want to work on the water here. So a nice flat brush to work on the water. Let's see now. What way do I want it? Obviously, I'm going to have to use the sky as some sort of reflection. But it doesn't have to be exactly like it. In fact, sometimes I prefer it not to be. Some, you know, because you have to remember this isn't reflecting this. It's reflecting what's above here. So it doesn't have to exact, be exactly what you see. Okay. Oh my lord, I want to go and do. All right. Little warm. I want it to be a little warm. I want, the, I want the valves to shine through on this area of it here. And I'm trying to be rough here, folks. I'm not trying to be precious with it. Now, there's somebody at the door, so I'm going to have to go and sort this. Oh, okay. Right back again, folks. So here we are. Now, I'm just having a wee look at this. Now, you see that background? I'm going to keep that th well, part of it th there, so yeah. But it, it's nice. It's suiting the reflection. <laughs> okay, so. Now I'm going to keep some of it there, not all of it. Just cleaning off my brush here, folks. A bit of paper towel. Right, okay. Now, a little bit of yellow here. I want this to be a nice bright area over the top here. A little bit of pink in it, a little bit of red in it, just to get and you get it a nice color, nice bright color. So let me see now. Up here, I want this heading towards the. 
Now you see how it doesn't mix. It does that because I, I use mineral spirits at the bottom here. Now what I want is a really nice saturated, highly saturated color just in this here, just to bring out that sky. And I am purposely leaving, as I've said, I am purposely leaving this background and now I'm unsure about it now that I've went ahead and See, this is the this, this is the wonderful thing about painting. You get to fix it as you go along. There's not many things truly in life where you actually get to fix it. But this, you get to fix it all the time. If you don't like it, fix it. Wonderful for that sort of. Maybe that's why painting a, a lot of people like painting. <laughs> Once you get to realize that. You get to fix things. Maybe that is one of the reasons. Anyway, that's me talking nonsense. Okay, now what should I do here? Alright, let me see. I think I'm going to make that sky here a little darker. I'm not that keen on this at the minute, so I'm not just pulling it down making it look like yeah that's a bit better yeah i'm happier with that nice way yeah. there now yeah i think i, I just too much of the, the brightness in behind it for for my liking anyway hi it's a bit better i'll be enough with that uh, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lighten this area in here a touch as if the sun is trying its hardest to, to punch through. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. A little bit of the galcade here. And a little bit of white. And let's see what we have here. Now, where to put it? Put it behind. I think I'll just put it up in, into the cloud here. Yeah, just adding a bit of a bit of brightness in here. That'll help it a little bit. <laughs> now I wanna come up a little bit up into here just to get a bit of bit of the sky peeking through. I think that's nice. Oops, it is a bit much. Alright now let me see. Okay, I just want to there we go. Now we have a wee bit of variation. And I think I'm just going to finish up here. I'm going to send this plane back a little bit further and keep this one down. So to do that, I need a little flat brush with some sky in it. If you look at the palette, I'm just putting in some sky. There's already some sky on the brush. This was the this was the brush I used for the sky. Now I'm gonna dull it out because it's further back. And let me see. I wonder. Uh, I've got. I'm not finished yet. So I'm not. Okay. Now you can see this plane I'm creating here. Okay. There we go. You see that looks as if it's heading off into the distance. I'm not sure about this. Um, 
this tree. It has it dried a little bit, so it should give me a should be easier enough to blend. I just want to take the edges off it here. Uh -huh. For me, that's a bit better. Oh, if you can see the difference there. I think what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of tree bark in it for a bit of life, you know. But there's a bit of life in this tree. And I think I'll maybe go for the birch. Look, the grayish, white, blue birch. Birch, look. Let me see now here, okay. So just bringing it up here. Uh, to me, that's far too bright. Oh, that is far too bright. Do, 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 do. Oh. <laughs> too bright, too bright, too bright. There we go. some blue in it. Blue always grays out a lot of things. Blue is great at graying things out. Okay, let me see what this is like now. Is this any better? Oh, look at that now. A little bit more, just made a little bit, um, adding a little bit of mineral spirits here. Make it a little bit more adhering to what's already there. I don't like this. It's a bit too fat, so it is. Oh. It's taking it off a bit. Alright, folks. Um, I'm going to edge the, the waters here, and then I think that that'll do it. So, the best way is to edge the waters quickly. It's just to get a really beat up brush and get your, get your darker edging or oh, that's a bit too big for this here's one here there we go yes again it's just a beat up brush nothing special about it you see and just bringing it down into it just creating some edge in here I don't know how long this one has been today, so I don't... Hopefully it hasn't been too long, because I'm trying to keep these fast and free for you. And feel like you can do this whenever you, you get home from your hard day and you want to relax. And you can just play through this. Alright. Now, I think I'm going to call that one a day. I'll do. Okay, folks. Well, I hope you like it. Hope you like this format. And, well, I hope uh, that will do it for now. And if you want, please remember to like and subscribe and leave a little comment. And if you have any ideas or for painting subjects, let me know. I'll give it a go, maybe. We'll see. Have a nice day, folks, and all the best.